Hey, what's going on guys? Well, I just uh, unboxed this uh, package that came in the mail today and I want to read the note to you and show you this stuff. This is just, I mean, super, super cool. Uh, it says, hi Jeff, long time viewer here again. When I was watching one of your recent videos on spinners, I heard you mention that your wife collects playing cards. As I am in the process of paring down my collection, I figured who better to give them to than you and your wife. I'm also including some items from my sliders collection. Uh, they can be a great pastime or they can drive you nuts. If they are of no interest, feel free to pass them on. Plus here are a few, uh, few items that may be of some use for you. The best long time viewer. So anyway, I mean, this is really, really cool. I mean, I really appreciate it. Um, I know you want to be anonymous, so I don't, I don't know who you are, but thank you. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel and watching the videos. And uh, this is just something really, really cool. It was a nice surprise today. Um, my wife does collect playing cards. It's the only thing she actually collects. Um, I also collect playing cards, but I'm not into it as much as she is. She actually uses the cards. She'll go through randomly and just kind of look through the decks. She likes cards with like different types of pips, you know, I mean, there's obviously a million different decks out there. It's just a standard deck, you know, with, uh, you know, some kind of theme, I guess, for the, uh, the picture on the back of them, you know, but she likes when the actual cards are designed differently and stuff. It's pretty damn cool. In the future, I mean, you guys let me know down in the comments if you want to see her collection. Uh, I can certainly show it to you at any point. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's her thing. So I have many, many things. She has that one thing. So it's actually funny because when she got into cards way before she knew me, she started collecting decks, but she didn't get them very often. And I actually encourage it. It's cool. Obviously, you guys know I'm, I'm all for hobbies and stuff. So every now and again, I'll see a deck somewhere, you know, once in a blue moon. And, and uh, I'll tell her, hey, why don't you pick that up? She's like, oh, I don't want to spend the money. I'm like, go ahead. It's for your collection. You know, I collect everything under the sun. Why don't you uh, get in on something, you know? And then I've given her decks of cards for different occasions. I gave her a heart, you know, deck card for Valentine's Day last year. And... At Christmas time, I'll throw her a deck or two, so it's just pretty cool. So anyway, huge thank you for that. Uh, also, sliders. These are sliders. I'm going to show these last. This is a blast from my past. I used to love these things as a kid, uh, but I used to always use really simple ones, like the one on top. So we'll talk about that in a second if you haven't seen those before. But first, let's talk about these knives. He sent me two Makustas, or Makustas from uh, Japan. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice. I mean, I, I've done a review on uh, not, maybe not this specific model before. I think I had an ebony one, but um, just amazing cutlery. It's also a smaller version, but I mean, absolutely beautiful. I might do reviews on these again, just because I don't think I had these exact same models before, and also just for the new viewers who haven't seen these knives before. But uh, excellent cutlery, so I really, really appreciate that. Um, gave me a couple patches. That was cool. I like those. Uh, a couple 380 holsters. These are pocket holsters. All right? I actually don't have a pocket holster for my 380. Actually, I have it on right now, so I can, I can check it out and see if this is going to fit. And it does. Fits perfectly. Leather one looks like a DeSantis. And also, there's this one here. This thing's really cool because it has all this textured, so when you go to draw, obviously out of your pocket, it's not going to, you know, go anywhere. The gun will slip out nice and easily. So that is super cool. So let's uh, put that back. And he also sent me a stun gun phone. <laughs> it's funny because when uh, cell phones first hit the market, I remember my, my father had a phone like this, a cell phone. This one obviously disguises a cell phone, but it's really a little stun gun, which is super cool. I like that a lot. But here's the cards. Um, very, very cool. I love, I know you want to be anonymous, but if you could send me a message, let me know more about these. I'd, I'd love to hear more about them. But this is what I'm talking about, where the pips are different. Just super cool. And all these look like to be part of uh, the same collection. Again, love to know more information about these. Absolutely beautiful. I love all the vintage stuff and antique stuff. Cool Egyptian uh, theme here. Really beautiful stuff though. And I like these cases as well. There's one more. So, I mean that is absolutely awesome. And these, these sliders, this is what I'm, uh, I'm talking about. I know a lot of you guys have probably seen these before. And it looks like most of these are from the same company, Pussycat Games and Arts. It's made in Germany. Uh, this one's uh, 
pretty simple. I like the information on the back here. But anyway, so basically this is just a spacer. So you pop this out and these tiles move. I can show you that real quick in case you haven't seen one of these before. All right, so I got that piece out. I just wanted to be very delicate, make sure it didn't break. But basically you just, you know, it leaves a gap so these are able to slide around and you have to slide them and figure out the puzzle in what order they go. Really simple, right? So this one, uh, most of these are done and I'm really glad that they are done. And I'm assuming that he, you know, of course went through the process of, uh, of doing these, which takes a long time. There are some really, really cool ones here. This is the one that's more my speed that I remember. Very simply put, just put the numbers in order, right? Really simple. But there's a lot of uh, MC Escher ones here. And once that gets jumbled up, I mean, that that's a couple hours for me, right? There's a bunch here. This is literally weeks and weeks of entertainment. Something like that I can do. Um, some of these that would frustrate me like nobody's business but uh, i really like to actually this one's not done so i do have to figure out this one myself but uh again just the the concept is to be able to move these around and you know try to figure out the puzzle right get the picture how it's supposed to be here's the other one some more uh, mc escher designs i mean something like this like i said more my speed because i can kind of get better visual but something like that Good Lord, I don't know, that would drive me crazy. That would be really fun. That would just drive me completely nuts. But uh, yeah, definitely a bunch of different difficulty levels. And then there's some big ones here, which is super, super cool. Again, that's a, I mean, it's a beautiful image. These are obviously known artworks. Um, but uh, like that may be my level. This, once that's jumbled up completely, yeah, I, I might go crazy trying to figure out how to get this uh, back to the image. But anyway, I mean, these are just super, super cool. I really, really appreciate the thought to uh, have sent this stuff to me. I mean, I will spend hours and hours and hours on these things. I'll probably spend an hour or two just trying to figure this one out. Um, but yeah, they are definitely a pastime. I remember having very simple ones, like maybe it was a happy face or something like really easy to, uh, to get, like this number one. I've never had any of them that were you know, more complicated like that. But uh, thanks for, for thinking of Christina. She definitely loves cards and, and she'll love those additions to her collection. So let me know down in the comments if you do want to see her collection. Eventually you will. Um, a lot of people have been asking for her to be on videos. She just doesn't have that much interest to be honest. Uh, however, I did get some Maxpedition gear not too long ago and she got her own uh, luggage bag and she might be doing a review with me. I'm trying to convince her to do a video with me because she's really into it. And uh, she's the one who's been using it. I have my own bag that I've been using, but I can't speak to the one she's using. So maybe I'll talk her into doing a review. You know, we'll see. Let me know what you think down below. But anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Take care.